It's Randy Orton. Oh. Oh. I have voices in my head. They count to me. They understand. They talk. Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Beat Away Nano here, and today I'm coming back with um, my Thoughts and Beyond, or Reaction and Beyond series, I should say. Um, I haven't done this series since Fastlane, which is, I think, r pretty disappointing for me, to be honest. Um, I really wanted to, I wanted to do it after WrestleMania and Payback, but I just never really got time to going around to doing them, which is... Uh, I apologise for that. Um, it's entirely my fault. Um, I can't really blame anyone else, to be honest. Um, but I'm back with the reaction and beyond for extreme rules um and this is just kind of where i extend points from the review um and i kind of think what's going to happen next at the next pay-per-view and beyond really um so what i think of extreme rules quickly i mean i thought it was you know a good show um you know two really good matches i think make ke you know definitely help the show nothing really that bad apart from a pretty boring asylum match but you know, it is what it is. Um, so let's just get on with each of the, you know, matches and stuff and where I think this is where all they're going to lead to, really. Um, then we have the club versus the Usos. Uh, again, good match, good opener. Uh, slightly short. I thought maybe if they the match went on longer, it could have been actually a really good match. Uh, where does this go from here? I don't think this is the end of the feud. I think they'll maybe have one more match at Money in the Bank, uh, potentially. I know they had a match on Raw where the Usos went over. And then the club obviously went over on the pay-per-view. So it's it's kind of that classic 50-50, you win, I win, you win, I win, that sort of thing. And it's just, it doesn't really enhance anyone, really. That's the, pr the problem I find with 50-50 booking. Like, it can work, but I just think WWE do it way too much, like way too much. So it's just, it just it, because they do it so often, no one really gains any momentum for it. So I think they'll probably want to have someone win the match to prove the better team and hopefully it's the club because they need this to be honest they need to make their mark um where do i see the club going um what i think may happen is after nxt uh takeover is it revenge i believe it's revenge when bala loses to joe prediction spoiler um but i think bala that'll probably mean bala coming up to the main roster and then um, he'll probably join the club and make the Bala Club or something like that. I think that's probably why they're called the club and it's such a shit, like, stable name. Because they're like, okay, we'll just put something temporary until Bala comes up. That's just what I think, anyway. Uh, as for the Usos, where will they go? No idea. I mean, I really do not want to see them back in the tag title picture. Like, they had their chance earlier in the year against the New Day. But I just find the Usos... They've just gotten really stale, um, to be honest. And, uh, you know, being associated with Roman Reigns has not helped at all. If anything, it's added to the staleness, really. So, I have no, I just think the Usos are one of those teams that the WWE really likes, but there's just not much to do with them at the moment. Because the tag team division, a lot of the tag teams are good, but they're in that kind of um, progress. They're all, they, a lot of these teams that are on the main roster need time to build before they actually get ready for a tag title shot, in my opinion. Um... Obviously, Rusev beat Kalisto for the U.S. title. That was that was fine. I was cool with that. Um, I think it's pretty obvious Rusev isn't holding the belt for that long, um, which is a shame because I mean, at first I wasn't really a big Rusev fan. I was kind of like, oh, he's just, just he's just another big guy. He's not necessarily that interesting. But when he actually got given time to go on the mic, he's actually like quite good on the mic, um, and he's actually pretty hilarious. Like on the pre-show. He was saying how, oh, I've already told my mum and my friends that I've won the US title and they've all congratulated me. I thought that was hilarious. I really enjoyed that. I just think um, he's actually really entertaining and I think he was wasted in the League of Nations. But, and it shows because as soon as he left the League of Nations, look at him now, he's a US champion. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think he's holding the belt for that long. Cena's coming back on May 30th for uh, on the um, Memorial Day edition of Raw. So you know Cena's either going to confront Rusev and challenge him for the US title at Money the Bank, or he's going to have a US title match on the actual Raw and win the belt, um, which is a shame. Um, I, I, do, I mean, I guess Cena with the US belt is better than ha him having the world title, but I don't know. I just think Cena being the US champ is getting a bit repetitive, um, and I don't know. But, uh, but to be fair, the, the US belt will get more, uh, you know, more TV time as well, considering Cena, if he does get the belt. Uh, whereas Kalisto, it was just defended on the pre-show, like, consistently. Um, 
Which is weird. I found that weird how Kalisto defended the US title successfully many times, all on the pre-show. And then, like, the one time he actually defends the belt on the main card, he loses. Which I think is pretty, um, pretty interesting there. So, Kalisto, I think, I have no idea what they're going to do with him. He's one of those guys who will probably go back into the tag team division with Sin Cara, perhaps. Um, you know, but like, again, he's, just, he's someone I think will just kind of fall into the mid-card abyss and just not really do anything, to be honest. Um, which is a shame, because I actually quite like Kalisto. It's just a shame they never really gave him much to do with the US belt, because they were always putting him in feuds that weren't necessarily that well built up. Putting him on the pre-show, um, and yeah, it's just a shame, really. Uh, the tag team division. This is an interesting thing, because obviously the New Day is still the tag champs. They beat the Vaude Villains. As expected, I don't think the Vaude Villains are ready for the tag belts, if they ever will get them, because apparently Vince doesn't like the gimmick. Which uh, I, I just don't. I I think the I think the gimmick's fine, but I it's definitely a gimmick. I don't think we'll get on the main roster, get over on the main roster, and um, it's a shame. Cause I actually quite like the Ford villains. Um, where do the new day go from here? I mean, it's interesting because I was thinking, oh, maybe Enzo and Cass will get the belt soon, but after that Enzo injury, I'm really not sure now. Like, you know, Big Cass is getting quite a a fairly decent singles like push. Like he on the pre-show, he beat up the Dudleys. Look to make look blah, been look looked to make. Sorry, I can't even speak. He's been made to look been made to look very strong. There we go. Finally got it out. Um, but yeah, I just I don't know like what they're gonna do because obviously Enzo we don't know when he's gonna be back. Whether he be if he's back soon, then I'm pretty confident they will win the tag belts. But I think the only option really is just keep the belts on the new day for as long as you can, which I'm fine with. I'm I'm entertained by the new day. I know some people don't like them, but I just find them really entertaining, um, especially Big E. I just I can't like I'd say especially Big E. I think he just makes me laugh so much. Um, so that's all I've got on the tag division. Really, it's one of those kind of things I'm not really sure on, to be honest. Now the IC title picture and the match. Oh, the match is incredible. Um, match of the year contender easily. Definitely the best main roster match so far. Definitely. Um, I would say. You know, it's again the IC title picture. I'm not really sure what they're going to do here because Zayn and Owens obviously going to go off on their own feud now. That makes sense. Maybe they'll be putting the Money in the Bank ladder match. I think that'd probably be the best idea. Hold it off until SummerSlam when they can have, you know, a classic matchup. Hopefully, Miz and Cesaro. I'm again. Cesaro has been beaten twice by Miz. I know. Uh, technically, the second time was clean and Extreme Rules and first time, and he did lose at Payback. What I think they may do is they may just put all four of these guys in the Money in the Bank ladder match because I think I'm not really sure what they're going to do with Miz and the IC title, who they're going to who they put him in a feud with because I don't think so they'd do Cesaro again because Cesaro's already lost and then been beaten by Miz twice. So I just I don't think that would be the best idea. Um, so the only person I could really think of they maybe would have for him to face for the IC title, and I, d I don't even recall seeing this guy on TV that much recently. Uh, maybe Apollo Cruz. I know that's a bit random, but you know they've they've kept him pretty strong, and I could see him maybe holding the IC belt in the future. Maybe not now. Maybe I don't know, but I guess another. That's the only thing I got really. But I think probably they'll just put the Miz, Cesaro, Owens, and Zayn in the um, Money in the Bank ladder match, which is cool because I think these guys are all pretty t all talented and could all do some uh, do some pretty nice stuff in the Money in the Bank ladder match, hopefully. Um, so, now, on to Dean Ambrose. Now, this is an interesting one. I'm I'm not really sure what they're going to do with Dean Ambrose. I think, well, no, I am sure. I don't know why I said that. Um, I think they're probably going to give him the Money in the Bank briefcase, which is fine. I'm, I'm up for Ambrose being world champion. Um, I think it's I think it's definitely deserved. Uh, the guy's over. The guy's talented. Um, you know, he's got everything. Um, unfortunately, the feud with Jericho is... I mean, the actual build-up to the feud itself was alright. It wasn't terrible. The match of payback was good. Um, slightly underwhelming, I guess. But I was kind of thinking, like, oh, they're gonna, like, they're gonna top it at the next pay-per-view, so it's fine. Sorry about that. Just getting a Facebook message. Just gonna turn that off. There we go. Um, yeah. So I just think um, the f the match, the asylum match of Jericho, bored bored me so much that it was like tw over 25 minutes, just a waste of time, really. Um, 
Ambrose and Jericho, I can also see being put in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, I hope, I'm thinking and hoping that Ambrose probably will win the Money in the Bank briefcase, which I'm fine with. Um, and who knows, maybe it'll, you know, Ambrose will get into a feud with Rollins again, or Reigns, or who knows. As for Jericho, I think he's probably going soon. Um, he'll probably be in the ladder match, as I said. Uh, but I think his last match will probably be at SummerSlam, or he'll leave before SummerSlam. We'll see. Uh, now we get into the women's picture. This is this is this is this is interesting. Uh, so Charlotte's obviously still the women's champion. Um, had her match with Natalia. I mean, the finish was pretty pretty weird. Like Dana Brooks now aligned with Flair and Charlotte, which is it's a bit random. But I think I guess since Emma's gone, they kind of had to do something with Dana Brooks because on her own she's just not going to survive on the main roster. So. I guess it's probably the best thing for her. As for an opponent for Charlotte, I have no idea. Like, I'm uh, the few with Natalia's done in my eyes. I just I am not really up for seeing them having another match. I guess the I guess you could maybe do Paige since she beat Charlotte, but we kind of already had that Survivor Series. But I don't know. I mean, I don't think they're gonna do Sasha yet. I think that's probably more for SummerSlam and also you know Sasha's injured. I think with a concussion or something like that. So they're probably going to hold back on her for a bit. Um, I don't think they'll do Becky because obviously they had the their match they had their match of the Rumble, and obviously she was involved at WrestleMania and everything. So I don't think Becky's going to be involved in the title picture either. Um, again, it's, the, the women's divisions kind of it's it's I'm just unsure. A lot of these division, a lot of the you know like tag division, IC title division, women's division. I'm just unsure to be honest, uh, being brutally honest here. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, if I was to guess, I'd probably say Charlotte and Paige, probably, since Paige, I think, beat Charlotte was it last week or a couple of weeks ago on Raw. Uh, all right, so we'll get into the WWE World Heavyweight title picture now. So, Reigns beat Styles, the Extreme Rules, in a great match. I already enjoyed it. Uh, second best match of the night, easily, and it topped their payback match, in my eyes. Um, well, so, where does AJ go from here? Now, again, I think AJ will go in... I mean, it seems like, it seems like everyone's going to be in this match, but I genuinely think... AJ will be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. I think the people who will be in the Money in the Bank ladder match, just to go over it again, it will probably be Miz, Cesaro, Owen, Zayn, Styles, Ambrose, and I guess maybe you can throw in other people. Ziggler usually gets thrown in the mix, doesn't he? Ah, uh, yeah. So I, I would assume that would sort of happen. And I'm, I'm just sort of thinking maybe they'll do like a feud after Money in the Bank with like Styles and Balor on the main roster. And I think what they might do is they might have Balor come up, form the Balor Club with Anderson and Gallows, sort of turn on AJ, um, and then that has that kind of builds into a feud where Styles feuds with Balor. I think that'd be really awesome. I would be up for seeing that. Whether that'll happen, again, that's kind of me just fancy booking in a way, but um, I think that would definitely be um, one of the better things to do. I think Balor and Styles could have some awesome matches. Um, through the summer and whatnot, and I think that's probably what I would do with AJ. Um, as for what else he could maybe do, who knows? Maybe he'll have a few with John Cena. I'd be up for that. I think these though they could easily have a classic matchup. Maybe Randy Orton because I've heard he's coming back soon. We'll just have to wait and see with Styles. Uh, so Reigns, it's pretty obvious. Uh, he's going into a few with Rollins. Um, I'm guessing they'll probably have a match at Money in the Bank, but I don't actually think the Reigns. No, I don't think Rollins, I'm sorry, will actually win at Money in the Bank. I think if they are going to have Rollins get the belt back, it'll be at a bigger stage, SummerSlam. Um, so I definitely think they're going for that Rollins and Reigns feud. And I hopefully they do a sort of um, a match two years in the making. Because what was weird was when they first, when they went to first have their big pay-per-view match, uh, Rollins, not Rollins, Reigns got injured with the hernia injury. Um, and so the match never actually happened. And then when they went to have their next pay-per-view match, the Survivor Series in 2015... Obviously, um, Rollins got injured, so this is a match kind of made two years in the making, and hopefully none of these two get injured before the match, like the last few times. Um, so I think you could definitely play that up in, in the storyline, which I think would be a good idea, and hopefully, I'm hoping that this results in Rollins getting the belt, um, because I, I, I'm really digging Seth Rollins. I know he's just come back, so it's hard to say, but I was digging him before. And I'm hoping that um, we'll see another Rollins title run. And hopefully he'll actually lose it definitively when he does. Uh, so thank you guys for watching my Reaction and Beyond video. Uh, sorry I haven't done, didn't do one from WrestleMania or Payback. 
Um, if you did enjoy, please like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.